I want to persuade my good brother Mutula and your team. Please assist us to get the fertilizer to the farthest corner. You know, tafadhali, mutusaidie. What I have said is we can build a, co a, a collabo, you know. We will bring the fertilizer to Makueni, uh, the few spots that we can. You can establish some stores in different areas. We will give you the human uh, beings, the human capital, and the uh, labor to, uh, to, to run those stores so that we can grow food locally. We have a whole program which we are discussing with the counties to make sure that we can harvest water. I know, for example, in this region, water is a very important component. We can unlock the huge potential in the soils we have in this region by delivering water. It is the reason why uh, we are going to complete Thwake by February next year. I have given very firm instructions. We cannot build Thwake forever. It must come to an end. We've always been thinking, and our political conversation has always been, oh, you know, uh, uh, we are sharing. We didn't get enough of sharing. We didn't get enough of positions. We didn't get enough of resources. But the new paradigm, where I want us as Kenyans to work towards is how can we bake a bigger cake? How can we work together? How can we recruit the talent, the knowledge, the expertise of everybody in building a bigger cake for the people of Kenya? And that is why we are investing in education so that we can equip everybody, give everybody a chance to acquire knowledge to acquire skills so that they can help us build this big cake. We are having policy interventions. Why are we discussing about creating jobs? We are creating jobs because we want to give everybody a chance to make a contribution to the prosperity of Kenya. There are so many people who want to make a contribution, but they are limited by opportunity. That's why we are deliberate about creating a million jobs using housing, creating a million jobs using digital space, creating additional jobs by exporting labor, you know, giving ourselves an opportunity, as many of us as possible, we must get an opportunity to contribute towards baking that bigger cake for Kenya. We are making policy interventions. For example, in the budget, we are saying, why should we import the things that we can produce in Kenya using our own resources, using our own energy, our own talent, our own expertise, our own skills, so that again, we can give everybody a chance to make a contribution. That's why we are saying cement, for example, we are going to be producing it in Kenya. Let's expand the cement producing capacity in Kenya, give many people an opportunity to work in those industries, use local resources, whether it is lime, whether it is sand, let's use local resources. Let us not import furniture that we can produce locally. It is an opportunity to give more Kenyans an opportunity to contribute in baking a bigger cake. Let us not Im import fish, for goodness sake. We have many young people that can go to Lake Victoria, that can go to uh, the Indian Ocean and uh, collect um, resources from our blue economy resources. The President, we want to promise our support. And that support comes by virtue of the fact that we took oath to work, to work for the people of Kenya. In my case, the people of Makwani. I didn't leave the Senate to become a sitting duck in Makwani. I left the Senate to ensure that the people of Makwani can enjoy the fruits of devolution. If that means that we have to sit with you so that the people of Makwani benefit, that will happen without any apologies. The buffer zone, beginning Rais Makov, and it will be inexpensive, it will be cheap, people can learn from home, and in our discussions that we have had, this region with the national fiber optic cable, the one that terminates 
uh, all the way in our headquarters. And I have requested, uh, Your Excellency, that this national fiber optic cable moves from our county commissioner's offices to ourselves and to create hotspots. And our county commissioners have been working well. Hours of McQueen is here. I've seen him. Uh, Your Excellency, that is the solution in terms of technology. Now, in this area, this particular area, and I've mentioned to you, the success of this city is pegged on several things. One, energy. Thank you to PS and, uh, and Waziri for making sure that we have the first facility that is going to provide energy and is, is right here. The energy that I had from the PS is enough to power all the counties and give extra for Mombasa. The second one, Your Excellency, is water. So there are two sources of water. One is Twake Dam that will bring water all the way to Konza. Uh, Deputy Governor Mwangangi has mentioned to you the problems of the pollution. That doesn't bother me because we, if we are in the task force, he may not know. You agreed to my proposal that Makweni and Machakos be included in the task force. There is water at a good opportunity together with my colleagues and we work with them with the leadership in Makweni we will tell you what we want to do. We have already offered land for affordable housing. We are ready. Just say, we need to work together the way Governor Mutula has said. We need to pull together. We need to foster an environment of peace. We have to create stability and we have to give Kenyans an opportunity to grow. The government of William Samoy Ruto has disbursed all the arrears that, was, that were pending to the county governments. All of them, all 47, the resources have been disbursed to the counties. That has not been easy. These are, this was, there was a backlog that had accumulated over a long period of time. Through the tough measures, the bold measures, we are beginning to see a lot of light at the end of the tunnel. Let us work together as Kenyans, as leaders, so that we can make sure that we move forward. Technology is one of the planks, key planks or pillars in the plan, the President's plan. It is driving Konza. It is indeed driving this university. And it has now opened the doors where the reservoir of knowledge has been broadened literally overnight to millions of Kenyans and also depend and we are confident that if we work together that reservoir of knowledge of education shall never dry the one other thing that we must all agree is that we will compete we are a very competitive country we are a country that is has a lot of talent very uh, a big pool of ideas and knowledge we will compete our ideas we will compete with our ideas we will compete with our knowledge we will compete with our positions but we will never compete in violence please that one i have said it will never happen again in kenya mambo ya vita na kupiganisha watu hapana haiwezi kuendelea tena kwa hii Kenya hiyo tu tukubaliane and whatever it takes we will mobilize whatever resource to make sure that we secure the lives of Kenyans their property their uh, businesses and make sure that Kenya is firmly on the foundation of a peaceful nation because violence undermines our democracy violence undermines our development violence undermines our prosperity and our standing as a nation in the community of 
of nations. So we cannot allow it. Hiyo ingine tuonge. Uh, I have also made sure that uh, we support our members of parliament. I made sure that all the monies for CDF, for our members of parliament, for, uh, in fact, for the women, I committed to them that I will add them a billion shillings for NGAF, which I did. Uh, we will support the Senate to do its work. Um, as was said here, uh, the last financial year uh, in 2022, the government then crossed over with about 30 billion shillings belonging to counties. This year, I made sure that we paid to the last cent before we crossed the year. I have also made sure that the money due to counties for July was paid in July for the first time in 10 years. And I will continue to support all other institutions to make sure that we deliver for the people of Kenya. Tafadhali mimi naomba. Tukiwapatia pesa ya county, musiende kuchukua na kupanga maandamano ya vita. Please. That is not right. That is not why counties were made. So you come at the my friends. Munataka ati chukue ushuru ya Kenya, taxpayers money, tuende tununue mawe. Ya kupiganisha wa Kenya. Apana, apana, apana. We have secured another 100 billion for this facility in the next five years. So we have resources to develop this concert facility. Some people have been asking, what have I been doing? When I have gone to this country, I saw the media try and say, this man has traveled here and here and here. Among us, the things that we have managed achieved, I traveled to Korea. I traveled to Germany, I have traveled to uh, another three countries on this very subject. I am very proud to announce to you that we now have 100 billion shillings for CONSA Technopolis to develop phase two. And among the things we want to develop here is uh, the road. We want to expand the road from Machakos Tanoff that we dueled, uh, now all the way to Emali. So uh, we are going to do all that road to eliminate the accidents and to make sure that uh, this facility becomes much more accessible. Another component of what we are going to do with that facility is um, to make sure that we deliver water to this facility. I have heard the discussion, the suggestions that have been made by the leadership of this area in matters water. I want to assure you that we now have a facility that will deliver water directly to this consa uh, from, uh, from Kilimanjaro to this place, and we have the resources to do it. And also to mention that we are also going to rehabilitate the pipeline that already exists. I know uh, there's been a bit of pull and push between Kajiado and, uh, and Makweni, I want to assure you that we are going to develop these two pipelines so that there is no quarrel between the counties. Let me also say we are going to have a huge infrastructure here to support our technology. Because we have made a conscious decision as a country that we are moving into the digital space, there are accompanying risks. But I want to assure you that we have the resources now to build the necessary infrastructure to support Kenya going the technology trajectory.